Hi, I'm Sherman Rowland with uh, Highland Park Lapidary, and I'm going to give you some basic, basic ideas in terms of how to get your PT up and going. When it comes, you'll take it out of the crate, and you're going to find inside a little package here. It's flat. This is one of the two fences. There's a tall fence right here, and if you bring the camera around, you can see the fence allows you to set a distance between the blade. So if I'm wanting to cut pieces consistently the same width, I could just be pushing them through there. And there's two hole adjustments for the fence. There's an inside and outside. So if I want to move this fence further out, I'd use this hole. You don't need two screws, just one. Um, the smaller fence is lower profile. So sometimes people want a lower profile fence and not have that edge. And so this mounts in the same location. It also comes with a drain cap. But most people don't use a drain cap. You'll use your coolant coming through the injector head. Um, that comes through the four port injection straight to the blade, and that comes out of your drain port, which is out the front, and circulate through a pump. Now when you fire up your PT, you're gonna hear a scraping sound, which sounds like this. And you hear that kind of straight, straight. That's actually the two phenolic pins that sit underneath the, the blade cutting deck that stabilize the blade. Once you put water in the, you run water or coolant in it, that sound's gonna go away. Um, but it's nothing to worry about. It's essentially the two pins. I make them a little bit tight so the blade then is stabilized so you don't get any side to side deflection on the blade. Um, the last thing is you'll, your PT will come with a plastic uh, spray guard that goes on the front. You'll just undo these two screws put the spray guard in place, put the screws back, and that just reduces the amount of spray that you might have coming out of the front of it. The final thing though, and many of our customers do this, if you look at the back of the PT, you'll see there's a four inch port. And you can buy one of those dust collectors at like a Harbor Freight or something, and you can vent out of this, and that pulls all the misting and that down through the machine so your shop really stays really clean, although this doesn't really make that much of a mess, um, but you can vent outside. And some people do that with their saws and things as well. So that's it, have fun.